here's another episode of When There's Food at Home. So I woke up late today and I decided to drink at least eight ounces of water to get things going. So I had some leftover asparagus that my husband was warming up in the microwave. So I decided to make us eggs with asparagus for lunch. I kind of skipped breakfast. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of butter here and cook some eggs. The asparagus is already cooked and it's heated through in the microwave. So I'm going to make some over medium eggs and that's going to be lunch. So along with this breakfast, I am going to try this superfoods Hi. drink. It's like a blend of like a powder. It's like green powder with like a citrus flavor or berry flavor. I'm going to give it a try. I've had it for quite some time and it kind of just sat on the shelf. Someone gave this to me to try and I'm like, sure, I'll give it a try. And I haven't. So here we are today. I got to say it doesn't smell very great, but you know. I was told that it tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna give this a mix and this is going to be my lunch. Okay, so it's time to dig in. I'm hungry at this point. And I gotta tell you, I eat asparagus with fried eggs all the time, super good. Now for this drink, I do smell that it smells like berries now. And it's not bad, it's not my favorite, but I probably could drink this if I was super thirsty. Okay, moving on. So after lunch, I decided to catch up on some of my favorite shows and paint my fingernails. So there's that. So it's dinner time and I'm only cooking for three because my youngest son doesn't eat this. So I'm going to use a bowl of leftover roasted tomato soup that I made. I will link the recipe video for this, but basically I roast a variety of tomatoes with shallot, some garlic, pop it in a blender, puree, add some seasonings, and there you go. I'm also gonna be using 12 ounces of penne pasta and some grated Parmesan cheese. This is going to be a very simple pasta and creamy because I'm gonna add some heavy cream. I'm really just trying to put together a one bowl pasta type meal. So I have my water boiling, I'm gonna add the salt, and it's time to add the penne pasta. And I'm gonna cook this for about 10 minutes. You cook your pasta and whatever type of pasta you like for that matter how you like and prefer. If you are making this, you don't have to use leftover tomato soup. Just use like a cup of your favorite marinara or pasta sauce. So into the pan and I'm going to add some dried Italian herbs. I'm also going to add a little bit of onion powder and a touch of crushed red pepper flakes. Give that a mix, heat it through. Here I'm gonna add a little bit of this pasta water That'll just kind of thin it out a little bit because my tomato soup was kind of thick after sitting in the fridge for a couple of days. I'm going to add a quarter cup of my grated Parmesan cheese going right into the sauce. Now I'm going to add my heavy cream, and this is a half cup. So a cup of marinara sauce or your roasted tomato soup, a half cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and like a third cup to a half cup of pasta water. It just depends on the creaminess or how you want this sauce. So I'm gonna give this a mix, taste it for seasoning, and it's done. So this is done. I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of fresh parsley and this is enough pasta for three. So now it's time to dig in. And I gotta say, I love making simple pasta dishes like this for dinner. I don't need any sides or crusty bread, even though that sounds great. 
Just a simple bowl of pasta goes a long way in my household, so this is dinner, and it's so good. So after a delicious, simple dinner, it's time to relax. I do have a little work to get to, but that's okay. I'm going to relax first. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.